Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're answering the question What is the largest party size and how does a fight with a large party look like? Uh, spoiler alert, it's a slog fest. Before we're going to do any of that though, let me just uh, show you what I prepared and boy boy it took a while to even prepare all of that. <clears throat> so, for starters, I didn't want to have a party of uh, just adventurers that would have really uh, potentially uh, derailed what I was uh, trying to do. So we went with a few adventurers and just a lot of party animals. And when uh, whilst I was starting to uh, gather all of these wonderful creatures, I figured out, oh boy, where is this going to end? Because all of a sudden it spiraled out of control. So here on the left hand side you see a set of wolves uh, they are sniffing each other's tails uh, like wolves are doing uh, really nicely put up in a chain we got quite a few bears uh, that i rescued from drumbuck uh, that are all uh, next to one or the other adventurer lately i got myself a couple of saurians and unfortunately the swines nowadays uh, got eaten very often because the food consumption of this is immense. We're already looking at uh, almost 200 food. Mind you, I do have all of the unlocks, food reduction, a master chef uh, that is reducing food by six. So I think over and minus five from the boat. So I think overall food uh, reduction is almost at 30. But nonetheless, we're clocking in like nice uh, 200 food. So. As I mentioned in previous videos, the uh, one of the illusions or misconceptions with party animals is uh, that they are just a free body. Uh, that is not the case. All of them count respectively for the number of enemies that you are uh, going to encounter. Even though the number of enemies doesn't immediately rise, I've just found that out, um, they will rise over time at latest when you are far traveling or when you are uh, switching zones in any shape or form. So, and then you're sitting at a situation like that, where you are uh, actually fighting an entire army. And what better way of uh, starting the new year than taking on a level 14 horde of uh, privateers with only uh, animals. Let's go boys. All right, here we go. So clearly the new DLC is very much suited to setup of larger groups. Uh, we have completely uh, filled the entire deck and that is our opposition. Uh, not as many as I wanted. 22 is okay, but certainly not as much as we wanted. So let's start with uh, laying down some suppressive fire first that seems like a good idea good so we're uh, killing the first few enemies basically making room for what is to come what is to come is going to be an onslaught of animals charging over. So I put the bears in the front. Uh, before any animal goes in, I think I cannot not go in with the AOE. Characters. Any other AOE character? Um, no, I think we're fine. Tanks to the front and let's get it going. Our bears are starting to attack. Oh my gosh, they are hitting hard. All right, moving in. That is more one-sided than I thought it would be. We might make a part two of it where we are attacking guards. 
because these guys are the real deal. I think this might be the first time ever that I get a five that I get a five swing. <laughs> Okay, listen, we potentially need to find a different environment. Well, this is getting a bit ridiculous. But guards on a ship might be a good idea as well. That could actually be a really nice fight. At the moment, uh, we haven't seen much of the animals, but... We're definitely getting a lot of mileage out of AoE attacks, that's for sure. And we're relatively close to the um, to the galvanization threshold, where the enemies are deciding to just flee. Yeah, well, that is a relatively one-sided battle. I was actually expecting more pirates appear a bit less uh, trained uh, than I thought they would uh, would be yeah although they get a couple of good swings in I'll give him that Alright, animals 1, guards 0. We need to heal exactly one person, and that's pretty much about it. Loot isn't phenomenal either, but we, we take what we can get. Cool, I think the second part of this video would be us engaging with some guards, because I think that might be a challenge which is a bit harder than what we've just seen. So, stay tuned. All right, not quite guards, but very high level enemies with reinforcements. So finally, that is the fight that we've been looking for. Let's try that again, shall we? All right, so I put all of the bears in the front, like usual, uh, like we're usually doing it. Uh, this side is going to be the uh, alligator side, the dragon side, and this side here will be uh, the uh, wolf side, where the wolf pack is going to attack. Let's see how well they are doing. I am curious to see it. So, got all of my guys at the ropes. And that is how an enemy ship in higher density looks like. We do have reinforcements, so I'm not going to run out of fun anytime soon. Let's use uh, this opportunity to lay down some real hate. And how would we do that, Saiken? How about hitting all of these guys up here? Seems like a legit idea. Taking out the archers because the archers do have AoE bows and I can only fathom how bad it is going to be once the enemy uses AoE. Next problem that I'm seeing is... Unless you can move through your own allies, this is uh, really, really problematic. So it's going to be a massive slugfest. Enemy is charging in, but so are we. Uh, these guys are already hurt, so might as well do that nice little star landing right there. And off we go. Um, whom do we want to attack? Bears go in. Start attacking the squishies. AoE buffs are going to be king in this challenge.
Oh yeah, try to poke the bear. That's not going to go uh, down well on you, I can tell you that much, buddy. Bears continue to move in and boy, they are hitting hard. <laughs> okay, what is going to be the most ludicrous amount of enemies that I can pull together? That's all four, four, five. You know, a wise man once said, don't be greedy. Five seems like a great idea. And whilst we're at it, how about we're just standing right next to our bears? Okay, I think uh, the wolf flank needs a bit more support. Let's begin to charge in. I'm not even uh, trying to attack the enemy that goes next because that seems like a futile effort when you have so many enemies going at the same time. All you need to do is essentially block off the enemies from reaching your backline and you're good. As long as we fight the battle on their turf, it uh, feels like we're uh, winning. There's another archer here. I think we need to kill that guy. All right, let's send in another tank. Oh wow, that will be a absolutely horrible landing. So far we're even slaughtering them, I don't know. Um, it might be the uh, close confined spaces here. Uh, that are making all of uh, this easier than it should be, but I really wanted uh, to Engage as many of them as possible This guy here definitely needs to be engaged. It's their leader Next up, let's engage archers. Oh, that was a good hit. Fantastic. All right, slowly but surely we're running out of uh, enemies. Um, I think we're going to clean up a little bit. Another soft landing of five enemies will be exactly that cleanup. Good, we're going fully in uh, by charging over here and taunting. Wow, enemy can't even really move. Okay, I think now we're uh, we should take uh, advantage of those sweet sweet massive landings that we can still pull off 
Keep in mind there will be reinforcements. We're still having 35 enemies, so things are looking okay, but that might change soon. AoE effects are going to be absolutely horrendous for these guys. In this case, Blackout will prevent any of uh, them from attacking. Uh, look, we're continuing to farm the easier enemies. Orderly will help our tank to generate uh, more Valor next turn when it is really needed. And I think for now we're fine. Let's find our place behind this bear and not do anything, uh, anything else. Good. Still having enemies. that we can land on. Five over here, five over there, five over there, a target rich environment. But as long as we're not putting the squishies in, and as long as they are not boarding us, we are actually fine. Nice. I think we're doing more boarding. And that appears to be the meta here. Good, we're moving up right into the enemy. Ouch. <laughs> Holy. That was a nice hit. We can deflect. Nah. All right, we're just staying here. Good enough. Our little polar friend, a snow creeper. Ah, oh, that's a triple landing. Triple. This actually would kill one of them or put them out of their uh, misery. That's a quadruple landing. I like it. Oh, nice. Look, what we can do is we can put ourselves to here and just set up this. That'll be fine. Okay, do we have any more boarding? Yes, we do.
Oh, that will be good. Good. Now off to the remaining animals. We got a couple of... Uh, oh. Didn't want to use uh, the dragons on the upper flank. My bad. Can't mix up the troops. That's not good for morale. <laughs> nice little combo. Very good. Look, how about you give it another hit? Very good. And then we're positioning ourselves actually over here. Good, the wolves are going to take care of this guy here. Alpha comes in. Starts hitting him. Spear wall is a fantastic skill. I like it. Can't charge in further, which is a shame. Might as well move to here. Can't pass through here. God, animals are so big. Let's try this, this should be fine. Good, a couple more dinosaurs. Moving in. Well, now we're taking damage as well, as you can see. Good, more dinosaurs. Let's just move in. We can always block the road later. The one thing that I realized is the first animals that go in because they have such a high hitbox need to effectively Pave the way and go in very deep. You can't just let a front line sit there. Good. The dinosaur front line looks fabulous. The other one, not so much. There we go, finally the crits are coming in. Good, we've successfully blocked ourselves off of uh, the, uh, the side with the wolves, but that's okay. We're slowly but surely going to go in. The enemies are licking their wounds, but they are not dead yet. Wolfpack is making its way over. And this is a complete and utter slugfest. fest. 
At this point, it does not matter um, if you're a wolf or reptilian. Just find your way on one of the planks and go. I think the reinforcements might come in um, at different angles. Unfortunately, our snow creeper has just hit his first willpower. Well, the last willpower, actually. He cannot take any more hits. So you gotta keep him safe and secure. Wolves continue to move up. Crocs wines do the same. Very good. We're boarding the ship, guys. Oh. Damn it, that is going to hurt. They finally found out that they can use uh, the ropes as well. <laughs> the retaliation of the spearman is fantastic. Love it. In situations like these, the skill is absolutely great. Stands behind the tank and just retaliates in every direction. Good, our numbers advantage doesn't mean much if... If... Oh, wow! Look at that! That's why I want the archers down first. And Amnus advantage doesn't mean much if we can't really um, get on their uh, ship. We got reinforcements as well. I had so many dragons that the, uh, they literally couldn't field all of them. So 45 is the absolute maximum. Currently rocking uh, 48 uh, mm, soldiers. Good, where to even begin? Where to even begin? I think we're doing a little cleanup, shall we? I think that's a good idea. I think that's a fantastic idea, Saiken. get as many reinforcements as I thought they would uh, they have they must have run out of manpower good we still do have enough power left over to uh, to drop down onto enemies and this looks like a perfect drop very good uh oh warrior is in willpower range i don't like that now he's up close to dying it just became very very serious Where's our archer? We had him over here. He can't pass through enemies. We do have a couple of turns, so we should be fine. Let's start with clearing out the enemies. And giving some room for our friend.
Ooh, close. Much closer than anticipated. Gotta hate these guys. Captain. Wow. So next up, we go are going to do something with the warrior. But only after we moved away from the ropes. Okay, cool. So, warrior. Oh no, wait a second. Uh, we got the rogue first. And rogue just positions themselves back here. Again, let's free up a little bit more space, shall we? Okay. Very good. Fantastic. So get him out of uh, the worst there. And let him drop to the other side uh, where he's going to be safe. down okay our pugilists might just clean up this side here One down. Two down. Three down and the fight is over. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, we have seen enough. That was an interesting but yet disturbing uh, showcase of how larger parties are actually faring. Much to my surprise, we have not lost a single person on this uh, adventure. But I think uh, part of that was also that uh, we had used so much of our actual uh, skills instead of uh, the animals. If we had uh, let the animals go in first, then it potentially would have looked a bit different. If you want to see a part two of this, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Next time we might attack a few guards and see how well the animals are faring in an open battle. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.